Alrighty, so we're in my kitchen and I'm going to be doing the first honey extraction of the season. It is July 8th, 2019, and I've got about eight frames of capped honey. I've got a bunch more in the hives, but they are not quite capped yet, so I'm going to do these frames first. So I've got some new equipment from last year. I've got this uncapping tank. So basically it's two tubs inside of each other. One has a little spigot at the bottom. The top one has a mesh here. So as I uncap the frames, the honey will drip and the cappings will drip into the tank down below, but most of the cappings will stay above. This will be kind of the holding area where I will keep the uncapped frames until I'm ready to spin them in the extractor. So here are the frames of honey that are capped and I'm going to uncap them. I also have a new hot knife. This was sent to me by John. John, thanks so much. Brand spanking new. I have it preheating here. So this is the control box and I have it on low to medium. So let's go ahead and use this. I've used an uncapping hot knife once before on my first year of extracting and I quite liked it. But I'm also going to use an uncapping fork for frames that are not so thick. So this frame right here is really thick. You can see how the honeycomb is built out. So that'll be really easy to cut with the uncapping knife. But this frame right here, as you can see, the honeycomb is not built out, this one too, very far. So there's not a lot for the uncapping knife to cut. So in that case, I'm going to be using the uncapping fork. So here's the tank with the mesh on the bottom. And right here, across the tank, is a bar that spans it. And this will support the frame as I'm removing the wax. There's the end of a nail, a spike, which I will put the frame on and use that to pivot. Now, this spanner can be adjusted at any width, and I've adjusted it way over here so that way I can have some frames hanging while I do the, the uncapping. So this is a plastic frame. I'm curious to see how well this is going to bite. It is chock full. This is a very fat frame of honey. The honeycomb extends pretty far out from the edge of the frame. So here it is beautifully capped. Grab my knife, just following the top edge there to get the cappings off. I've had the knife preheating for a few minutes. There we go. This is my first time using this knife, so I'm going to have to get used to adjusting the heat to the temperature, which works best for me. We don't want to use too much force, otherwise we'll rip all of the honeycomb beneath. And we want to reuse this Oh, that's so beautiful and satisfying. Last year I used a serrated knife and that worked fine, but I did have some tear out. And it doesn't seem to be tearing out nearly as much with the hot knife. Now I'm going to pivot and get this side. Same. Just slow, gentle pressure.
Now for this area, I'm going to use my capping fork. I'm going to just go under here and lift up. Go under the caps and just lift up. And that just removes that top layer of wax so the honey will come out. The bees seal the cells of honey for storage for later when there is no nectar, strictly in the winter time. So they seal it with the wax on top to keep the honey fresh. But I need to open those caps to get to the honey. That is a beautiful frame. I'm just going to go right on down. So I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to come back with a fork and get the rest of that. The fork actually works really nicely. I like that. Pivot? I like that pivot. So this area right here has not been capped, but usually when the frame is 80% capped, you can still harvest it for honey. I'm going to try cutting upwards like this. That seems to work nicely. Look at that, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so satisfying. I have to say on this pivoting spike, the wooden frames definitely work better than the plastic. Plastic's a little too slippery. The wood bites nicely. Now while I've got my frames here, I'm just going to do a little bit of house cleaning and scrape off some of this burr comb around the frames. Can you see that? Yes. Isn't that beautiful? And then the honey starts to drip out. Tiff. Whoa. Isn't that satisfying? And then the honey goes through those cracks. That's right. And then you get finely sifted honey. Well, we're going to um, put it through the extractor. How many flames have you did? I've done three. This is the fourth one. Fourth? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good right there. So lovely to see all those cells. It's like they're glowing or something. So this frame is relatively thin compared to some of those fat ones. So for this I'm going to use just the uncapping fork. Which I quite like because if you were to use a knife, even if you were to use a bread knife or the hot knife, You'll just dig out all of that comb. It'll go down to the foundation. It just kind of ruins it. So the uncapping fork is nice because it just takes the very top layer of wax off without ripping out the cells from the foundation. I know it's not as satisfying to watch, but I think the uncapping fork might do a better job of just removing the caps. Just the thinnest layer of wax comes off. This wax is beautiful. It's so white and clean. And I will be saving all these wax cappings, and then I will purify them later to be used for candle making, making bee wraps. I can even make lip balms, things like that. Sabs.
beautiful is that? So with this configuration, with this bar pushed over to the side, I'm able to hold about eight frames. I could probably fit another nine. Of course, this one doesn't go in flushly, which is kind of a shame, but yeah. So I'm going to do the actual extraction in my extractor after dinner. So this is great. I can have this kind of dripping down into here and the cappings, of course, are dripping down below into the tank. So yeah, nice kind of little temporary interim setup here. Two frames. So all we do is just do this. Oh, it smells so good. If you don't filter it, mm -hmm. if there's it's little, chunky. if there's little bits of comb, which I don't mind, um, yeah. they act as a crystallizer, like a callus for crystallization. Uh, so your face starts to crystallize a lot faster. I see. What's it feel like? It's good. I feel some air. Yeah. How's it smell? Like honey. Does it smell nice? Yes. 